Having the option of a PARP inhibitor at this time is uh, revolutionary in, in our field. Many people ask about, well, what targeted therapy can I go on? And that's a great question because we have very, very few targeted therapies. In fact, ovarian cancer is not even a disease defined by a specific targetable mutation. So look at kidney cancer, lung cancer, um, uh, uh, GBM in the brain. Um, there are many diseases that actually have specific targets. Breast cancer, they have definite specific targets. Even endometrial cancer has definite specific targets. Ovarian cancer, it's a copy number alteration. There's too many of the copies of the genes around. And P53, the most dominant mutation, is not a targetable event. So we don't have targeted therapies that are reliable, except BRCA. BRCA is the one mutation that can actually fit in a targeted sphere. And so um, we're super excited that we have these drugs now available to us to actually approach the, the aspect of, of targeted therapy in ovarian cancer. The prediction of response to a PARP inhibitor is strongest when we know that patients carry the, the BRCA mutation. But we've seen in multiple phase two trials and in the all in, in two of the three maintenance trials, uh, switch maintenance trials that have been conducted, uh, excluding SOL2, which was, also, was just in a germline patient population, that the entire ovarian cancer space of patients uh, who have platinum-sensitive uh, recurrent disease potentially are candidates for the use of a PARP inhibitor. Now, I, identifying exactly why that's the case is still the work of some uh, major ongoing trials. And it's actually very important because our next kind of foray into this area is going to be using PARP inhibitors in combination. And there are multiple different potential partners that are already under investigation that look very promising. So just understanding that there may be a way to interrogate the, the entire epithelial ovarian cancer, particularly platinum-sensitive ovarian cancer patient population, by using a PARP inhibitor either alone or in combination with something is gonna be a great advance for us as we go forward trying to identify better therapies for patients. There are many characteristics that define patients who have recurrent disease. The one that seems to be used most frequently is this issue about platinum sensitivity. And platinum sensitivity was a concept that was generated back in the late 80s when there were very few other options other than platinum. And so the thought was, if we had a, period, a, a time period for which patients were off chemotherapy and you could reintroduce platinum, that they would have a response rate that was better than what we had available. At that time, we had very little available. And so through a series of retrospective studies, that was defined that somewhere between six and 12 months seemed to be a nice discriminator for when using a non-platinum would be just as good as giving a platinum. So I want, I want to make sure that people don't misinterpret this. We do use platinum in patients who have short platinum-free intervals. Frequently, we use it with a combination of another drug because they have drug-drug synergism, and we've shown that they actually have activity in platinum-resistant patients. But by, as a general rule, what we've seen is that after about six months, maybe after 12 months, we actually start to see that the benefit for retreatment with the platinum is better than the non-platinum alternatives. And also, the opportunity to receive platinum combinations now becomes even more important. And I've mentioned that gemcitabine and carboplatinum was compared against carboplatinum in platinum-sensitive patients and showed that the combination was better. So what, we, what we've been able to demonstrate is that patients that have longer treatment-free intervals have better likelihood to respond to chemotherapy and even better likelihood to respond to platinum. And so that's what the concept is about chemosensitivity or platinum sensitivity.